Hello everybody, I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is Steve coming back with another video. Um, we're not going to have any videos, to be honest with you tonight, on anything about game design. I know I just threw up a video the other day, but I have something really important I need to talk about. So I'll get right to the chase here. Um, so you guys know that I'm going to be moving out of this apartment. You can kind of obvious by now by looking behind me. Everything's getting cleared up here now. Um, what I had found out, though, and probably should have done a little bit more work on it, didn't really understand it, is I'm going to be switching, possibly, from Cox Cable down to CenturyLink, which is a DSL provider. Um, so I'm no expert on the matter, but I've had experience with, and I already know that there's a difference between high speed and DSL. I'm going to lose a lot of bits, what they call it, bits per frame per second or whatever. I'm a little concerned about that. Um, so he's right now talking with his, he's going to be talking with his uh, provider, he's got on contract with them, to see if he can, I don't know if you guys know this, if you can hook up two connections in one household, I don't know if that's against, you know, regulations or not, but he's going to see if he can do that, and if not, one of us has to sacrifice. So at this point, I'm at a, I'm at a loss here, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I mean, he's a very reasonable guy and everything, he said he would probably even do it. If we don't, though, I'm going to be streaming at probably less than half the speed. And what this basically means is there's not going to be any Twitch TV for me. So this kind of bothers me a lot in a lot of ways. I'm just hoping you can get through this and find a way to make this work together. You know, so, but, so this is kind of a serious video tonight because it's heavy on my mind right now. And I'm just thinking... Hopefully this is going to work out. I don't know a lot about CenturyLink. I don't know. I've read online they have a lot of complaints and stuff like that for various things. Maybe not just disconnections. Um, he, there was a family living in his house before and they complained. I don't know if they complained maybe once or twice about a disconnection between the internet. He gets a really good price on it. Um, so I guess you know it would be hard to kind of sever ways. Now myself, I've actually been a Cox member I just found out by calling them tonight for 16 years, so I'm considered like one of these VIP customers by them. And as a result, because they know I'm leaving the service, you know, no company wants to lose a customer, they offer me a killer deal. So they're almost like going to cut my price in half that I'll be paying for cable, and they're going to even upload that to high speed internet. I mean, super fast, fastest connection you could get. And they're going to give me that. I think they said it was for like 24 months or something, if I'm not mistaken. It's a long time. It's a really great deal. And for me, um, my friend, you know, he knows that I like computers and stuff, but he probably really doesn't know how much I am into them. And as you guys already know, he knows I have a YouTube channel. I did tell him about that. But he doesn't know what it really, what it, what it is for me and why it's important for me to have this high-speed connection. I explained it to him. And he's a great person, great, great understanding in that. But for me, YouTube, for the longest time, is my life, and I really wanted to move toward Twitch because I know it's a there's a market there. I know I have a corner of the market. I have a chance to get on Twitch and do something different and, and just stand out. Why? Because I've already researched it on Twitch. There's no Commodore 64 game design that I found out yet on Twitch. I know it's kind of, you know, a couple of years old or whatever, and a lot of people are just into gaming. But you know me. I've always been about the game design and bringing teams together. So I really want to hear your feedback on this. Um, anybody has CenturyLink or DSL maybe can give me an idea what it would be like if I go streaming. I know it's probably going to be a horrible, horrible... I mean, I don't want to be negative or anything, but it's probably not going to be a great connection. You know? It's going to be a lot of lag and stuff like that. And, you know, I don't want to have to deal with that. I just want that solid connection. And I partially do run a business on YouTube because I make money on YouTube. But I have a better chance of even making it more on Twitch right now. This is like the life opportunity of my lifetime. So many transitions are happening right now that are huge in my life. You know, like I said, I'm moving out of a third-story apartment building here, 720 square feet, into a, a much smaller area. So I had to give away a lot of my, not give away, I had to sell a lot of my furniture. Fortunately, Craigslist is an incredible place to sell furniture. I already made a total of 340 bucks in the last two weeks. That was pretty darn incredible how fast I got the money. And... The thing about it is, like I said, I'll be moving into a smaller house. I've got the downsize, maybe even more stuff because I have, I'll admit it, a lot of junk. But I've gotten rid of a large couch. Um, I got rid of a weight bench. Those are the two things I've gotten rid of so far. That would have been a nuisance in that new place. Um, it's 
probably I, I'd probably say it's about 600 square feet. It's not really really small, but there's there's a there, area in the back there. It might be smaller than that too. I don't know. I've lived in very tiny places, so you'd be surprised how small. I've lived in very very small places. I once lived in an apartment 585 585 square feet, and it was actually um and because of the way it was spaced out and everything it was actually bigger than the that apartment that appeared to be very small, which is 620 square feet. And this one's 720 square feet. So I'm, I had to kind of make some sacrifices on there. But point aside, getting back to the point of this video is, has anybody had any experience with this? What can you tell me? What, it, what am I risking right here going? And I've already signed this contract with him. So it's a done deal. I'm moving in. I don't have anywhere else I could go. Where I'm going to be moving there on Friday. So I need to know, what are your experiences with DSL? like on streaming, maybe not just Twitch or just, I don't know if you could use Twitch because that's what I'll be, but if you want to use another example like whether it's Google Hangouts or something, what is your experience with um, Centrally? Do, is it possible I can get a faster connection through them? Do they have a high speed internet? I haven't seen anything like that. So I'm a little concerned about that. Like I said, I really want to know that I'm doing the right things here and for you guys, you know, myself too of course, but most importantly you guys, you guys matter so much. I mean, this is why I spend all this time in front of a computer editing out videos, you know, and just trying to read books, research, and do things right just so you guys can get the content you're looking for. And to kind of touch on that base, and to kind of go off here on tangents just for a minute, somebody on YouTube recently mentioned that they'd be interested in me doing a tips video. So I might be throwing some of those out because I like taking your suggestions for feedback. And maybe do, I don't know, some machine language tips or basic tips or whatever it is you're looking for. C64 tips, we'll kind of cross that road later. But point aside again, back to on track here, I really want to know, seriously guys, what your opinions are of this, what your experiences, not just your opinions, most importantly is your experiences with this means so much to me right now. I know you guys are, are so incredible. Um, without you guys, I would be nothing. This channel would not evolve. I mean, without the internet, none of us would ever be connecting. And I'm just excited. I can't tell you how excited I am about Twitch because I can't. I just had my whole picture, my whole finger would just be twitching right now to tell you how excited I am. Just to give you an idea, and that's only my finger. I mean, if I had to twitch, I mean, it's just incredible. You get what I'm saying? Um, it's just incredible to me. It's just like I would really like to know that this is a good decision I'm making because I want to make the right decisions. I don't always make the best decisions. But I want to be able to make the best decisions for my community as well. So I really need to know. Um, this is going to be a short video. Maybe I'll just pull this video down later or something after I get some feedback on it. I'm curious about that. Uh, probably another thing I'm hoping to be able to do, or find a, a little path to, is I really want to be able to give you guys more credit. I know I haven't been doing that in the past. I don't feel like I've done that enough. I've seen a lot of channels do it where somebody subscribed and said, hey, thank you for subscribing. I think that's so important because people who come here are spending that few moments to click on that subscribe button. And I've read that people watch your video for three minutes or more are more likely to subscribe. So you've obviously been watching more than three minutes and I appreciate that so much if you are. So I really want to give you guys credit and kudos for just being here. Um, there's a lot of people on my YouTube channel that have you know, like no videos on your channel. I don't know if they come back. But there are a lot of you that we are kind of a community, and I see and I talk with a lot of you right now, and I can sit there and almost name you guys off the top of my head. But seriously, we'll be doing it more of that later. I just really want to give credit where credit's due. I give all glory to God, number one. But the whole purpose of it is these people, you, the audience, are the only reason why people would sit in front of a video, go out and do pranks or do whatever just to get a view because they know without these people none of that's going to matter. So for me, I've learned so much from you guys. I've learned a lot about game design. I can't tell you how amazing it is. I've never known I'd ever be able to scroll a game on the screen and never in my years could I do that. And now I can actually write scrolling algorithms and stuff like that and learn from them. And it's incredible. You know, just the things I'm learning, the people I've met, to name you guys off, Darren, Bo, you know, just some of the people I know on here. Um, I wish I could think of all of you right now, but there's so many of you that come. I can just look at the people on the project and stuff like that, Stefan, and just people who kind of stop by YouTube on a common basis and are commenting and stuff like that. You guys are so much appreciated, and you'll see more of that coming forward. <clears throat> so, back to the thing, the main content for the night. What do you think where I'm going with this? What is your experiences with it? Most importantly, your experiences 
that you know about this or even with other people. I really want to know and I'm looking forward to your feedback. So I'm going to cut this video off right now. This is kind of um, a one-on-one -on -one video between me and my community here. So thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate your favorites, likes, subscriptions. And like I said, it's going to be incredible if this works. Twitch, oh my gosh, I cannot tell you again how amazing this is going to be because mm, I just don't know. It's just like my chance. This is my big, big chance to get there. To finally not be competing against 100 or however many other YouTube channels there are on the Comment 64 because there's a lot of them. So there's a few of them on Twitch, but we are going to have a corner market. So I thank you guys for watching again. You guys have a great night. I got to get to work here. I'm cleaning this place.